That gorgeous spring weather I mentioned has us opening up the house to spring, right? Windows open, doors open, and garage up. I will tell you, letting people peek inside your garage can be as vulnerable as it gets, but one woman from Lexington, Kentucky can now show off that space proudly. Lauren Jansen is a wife, girl mom, and amateur DIYer, she claims, who loves all things farmhouse. Lauren recently bought, brought that chic style into the often neglected garage space, and the results are worth gushing over. Good morning, Lauren. Welcome to Studio 5. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I, I wish ask... it was a little springier here today, oh, but I'll what, take it. What are you dealing with there? What's the weather like? It's Kentucky weather. You can get all four seasons in one day. Oh, <laughs> so nice. we are currently experiencing cold, rainy weather. Okay. Which you might have a beat because but... in Utah, we joke, you know, four seasons all in one week, but four seasons all in one day is something. And before we jump into this conversation, I should clarify Lauren or Lauren. I know people have preferences. Lauren. Lauren, great. <laughs> We're friends already. Simple and yeah. easy. Hey, also, I want to lay the table with kind of a make us feel better sort of question, Lauren. What did your garage look like before this makeover? Please. I'm a little embarrassed to even show you. Please <laughs> but do. It was bad. It was bad. But I think a lot of us are in the same boat where your garage just kind of takes everything that you don't want in your house but aren't quite ready to get rid of. Yeah. And that was our garage in a major way. It was also doubling as a workshop for me, and the mess was just almost unbearable. No, really, you described all of us because what once held two cars now just holds our excess, right? Now it just holds yes. all the stuff we don't know where to store. Tell us what you did. So after I got over the initial overwhelm of the project, I tried to break everything down into steps. We decided what could just be trashed, what could be donated, what could be sold. Um, what did we really need in our garage? What did we want to keep in our garage? So we got rid of everything that we could. And then we um, started to make spaces for all of the things that we wanted to keep. So kids toys, uh, a workshop space for me, we epoxied the floors, we did a little bit of everything, but just made sure that everything we kept in the garage had a dedicated space to go back in. Well, and I really appreciate that practicality. We're looking at the after, which I mean, we've already forgotten about the before because it's so gorgeous, it's clean, it's bright, it's everything you want a garage space to be. We dream of our garage spaces being, but you emphasize that practicality. In fact, that's your first guideline for someone out there. Your first rule for someone wanting to take this on is to think of function first. Absolutely. And that really goes for any and every project that you do in your home. You ultimately need your home to function properly for you. But that doesn't mean that it can't be fun and exciting and reflect your personality too. Yeah. Well, and I'm glad you touched on that. We naturally want our home interior to be personality driven. How did you pull your personality into the garage space during this makeover? Oh, in a lot of different ways. <laughs> the colors that I chose, um, the, I did fake marble countertops for my garage workshop, like who does that? Um, stenciled little flowers on our garage stairs. I think it's important that your personality shines inside and outside of your home because ultimately, um, whether it's a guest coming in your home or whether it's you walking in after a long day of work, having a joyful entry can carry that joy into your home too. Yes, yes, and for so many people, the garage is that entry. You mentioned the, yes. the porch or the steps rather. Did you stencil those flowers? I did. Yes. I just grabbed some leftover paint that I had from previous projects and a little stencil that I used um, for one of my girls projects and just thought it would be fun to add a few flowers on the stairs. And I actually love how they turned out. I love it too. It's darling. And the black and white aesthetic. Is that one of your favorite color combos? It is. I love the contrast of a good black and white. I feel like it's timeless too. Yes, absolutely. And I love what you were saying about kind of seeing yourself in that space, because as you mentioned, that's going to be your workspace. Even yes. if you don't have a designated workspace in your garage, I love thinking of that as a point of entry, which it is for so many family members as they come and go throughout your, ho your house. Absolutely. How else do you see yourself in that space? I mean, the marble countertops, that's something. Faux marble, but still. Yes. Um, I'll, I put up a little quote in the garage that just says progress over perfection. I added my favorite colors, like the same color is what's on the wall behind my workshop, the one that's behind me. Um, just try to keep the color palette the same as what's inside my house and just truly choose things that I personally loved. Um, I tried not to stick with like trends or anything like that because I feel like it's more important that you love a space for the long term, no matter yes. what you add to it. Yes. And this, this wasn't a go out and buy it all new sort of an approach, no. which we love you for as well. You used what you had on hand. 
it's one of my favorite challenges to use what you have, because I am a firm believer that if you take one thing from one room and you put it in another space, it becomes brand new again, and you can have fun with it in new and different ways. And it's just a good design challenge all around. So what was a piece you repurposed for the garage makeover? Um, the bench that's right by the entryway. I actually built that for my front door entryway. Um, but as I was planning the garage, I brought it out there just to kind of visualize what it might look like, what size I would need out in the garage. And I left it there because I thought it worked there honestly more or better than it worked in our front door entry. We're looking now at your tool set, but I think we have a picture of the bench and it's so practical too, right? It's so practical that it sits right next to the door space. Yes. You can drop things as you come and go. Lauren, thank you so much. Where can we get more DIY inspiration from you? Well, you can hang out with me every day on Instagram at farmhouse-ish or check out my blog, farmhouseishblog.com for step-by-step -step tutorials. Okay, thanks for the inspiration. I'm taking it on this spring. We appreciate it. Great.